Hey Falcon fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to Atlanta Falcons today. A little different of a video, but very interesting. I want to dive into five players that I think the Falcons need to start giving more snaps to overall. Because each week I've been looking at, you know, the total snap count list. You can find this kind of sort of thing on the internet. And it kind of is kind of, and I'm not necessarily terrible. I don't think Atlanta is just completely avoiding some of the players that need snaps, uh, snaps right now uh, in their actual games. But I do think that there are some players who have seen their snaps either go down since the start of the season or have kind of stayed at the bottom since the start of the season. It's like, we need to figure out if these players are good or not. Despite the fact the Falcons are 4-4, four and four, I think these players can contribute. They should be contributing, and their snap counts definitely need to go ahead um, and go up. We will start with one Marlon Davidson, who, of course, is someone that you should have instantly thought about whenever you read the title of this video as someone who needs a lot more snaps. Now, looking at the overall snap count of this past week against the Saints, Davidson basically had half the snaps of Grady Jarrett. Now, I know that Grady Jarrett's the starter, and therefore Davidson should have less snaps than Grady Jarrett, but Davidson still needs to be out there as a former high draft pick and some someone who really is supposed to be one of the future pillars of this defense, at least from the defensive line perspective. I'm still not sold that Marlon Davidson is going to be an elite defender like we had kind of hoped that he would be drafting him so early two drafts ago, but we still need to know for sure when looking at the front four. And the fact that Marlon Davidson's not getting as many snaps as he should alongside the rest of the def these defensive uh, linemen who are not that good in amongst themselves is a little bit disconcerting and a little bit upsetting, I think, for a lot of Falcon fans who, again, are expecting big things from a guy like Marlon Davidson. So even though he is getting out there and he is, in my opinion, making some plays, I got to bump the snap count up just a little bit because one, we got to know if he's good or not. And two, he really should be out there. If he's not able to produce right now, when will he actually be able to? When he, because right now is probably the worst defensive line he's going to play on. That's hoping that the Falcons are going to go ahead and up the defensive line in this year's NFL draft. So Number one on my list, first on my list, is Marlon Davidson, of course, the defensive tackle. Number two is a name that's just suddenly come uh, to be a household name for a lot of Falcon fans, especially after his strip sack of Trevor Simeon on Sunday, and that's James Vodders, the outside linebacker slash pass rusher who really was just a practice squad guy basically the entire year, and yet right now, according to Pro Football Focus, he was the highest-graded Falcons defensive player uh, for the entire game on Sunday against the Saints, not just because he had a strip sack, because he plays very, very well from a pass rusher standpoint and from an outside linebacker perspective. I'm, like, seriously, like, why not play Vodders? more. I think right now with a lot of these defensive players we're going to talk about today, because most of the players on this list are from the defensive side of the football, the defense is so devoid of talent this year that really you should be mixing guys in there to figure out who's the best and then playing that player a bunch. And Vodders is a guy who's come from the practice squad, who's worked his way up in this depth chart, and I think deserves a lot more playing time, especially because you saw what he's able to do against a, I mean, listen, a decent Saints offensive line during a, pa and, and, and really a pass rush overall for the Falcons that is very much devoid of talent. So I think Vodders is definitely somebody you're going to see a lot more of. I don't think they're going to hold him down, but he's been able to reveal and show that he deserves more snaps, meaning his snap count 100% needs to go ahead and start going up. All right, add a break right here. Go down below to the pinned comment. Name me a Falcon who needs more playing time. I know you got someone in mind, whether it's Vodders or Marlon Davidson or somebody else on this list. Name me a Falcon you think needs more playing time. Go down below right now during the ad break. All right, next player on my list is uh, actually kind of a surprise. You guys might not have expected him to make this list, but it's Hayden Hurst. And we talked about Hayden Hurst in our trade deadline videos as early as last week, saying that Hurst should be traded because they're not using him at all. Well, they didn't trade Hayden Hurst, and yet they continue to hardly use him. And his usage, uh, this game against the Saints, I mean, it's almost at its uh, uh, season low. I mean, he's hardly getting snaps out there, like 20 total uh, offensive snaps. And I know that he's not necessarily producing right now, but I feel like his production is down because they're not really trying to feature him in the offense. And I don't know why they aren't doing more 12 person personnel, two tight end looks, because I think him and a guy like, uh, of course, um, uh, Kyle Pitts together on the football field is a fantastic duo that needs to be utilized. We thought there would be a lot uh, of that going into the season. I know that he's obviously competing for playing time alongside Kyle Pitts. I want Kyle Pitts out there more than Hayden Hurst. So do you. But I think you need to be able to find a way to get Hayden Hurst the football a little bit more because he is a playmaker with the ball in his hands and he is a good tight end. And this is the last year you're going to have him. You might as well use him while he's out there, right? The limited number of snaps that Hayden Hurst is getting right now is very surprising. And I don't really understand why, especially when you look at the fact that Calvin Ridley is no longer out there, and even though one is a tight end and one is a wide receiver, you need pass catchers, and Hayden Hurst, that's what he does. He's a great pass catcher, so I think Hayden Hurst has got to see more snaps, and really not necessarily snaps, but targets as well, because they have really underutilized him, uh, and it has been a bummer to see, or I guess lack thereof, and not see uh, out there on the Falcons' offensive side of the football. 
Now, before we get into my next player on the list, quick shout out to our friends at BetUS. Go to chessports.com forward slash BetFalcons. Use that promo code FALCONS125. Get 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up. So you put $100 down, to turn to $225 for you to go ahead and bet on the Falcons maybe this Sunday because they're going to be heavy underdogs against the Dallas Cowboys, yet the Cowboys lost to the Broncos. So maybe a chance for you guys to make some money. My bets of the week did not go so well as I showed you guys in a video we did yesterday. I did not bet the, the Browns uh, Bengals game correctly. I did not bet the Eagle Charger game correctly. I did get Packers to cover against the Chiefs. Thank goodness that garbage time touchdown by Jordan Love. Patriots, Panthers, I went for the over. That was completely wrong. And I did get the, the uh, Broncos and Cowboys with the under. It was 49 and a half, so I was very obviously going to win that one. So um, we're going to do better next week. So if you guys want to follow my picks, of course, make sure you guys stay tuned for another video this week where I'll give you my five picks of the week. And if you just want to bet on your own picks with your own decisions, go to chatsports.com forward slash betfalcons. Use that promo code FALCONS125 for 125% deposit bonus. Let's move into number four here on the list, and that is Richie Grant, the uh, safety. Now, I, I know that they have starting safeties. Like, I understand that Deron Harmon is playing better, and Eric Harris is probably playing better. Even Jalen Watkins deserves to be out there uh, from a safety perspective. But Richie Grant did not play a snap on defense against the Saints at all. Like, he, all of the snaps came via special teams. Now, he is a rookie, so you obviously don't expect him to be a big baller out there and, you know, running around and being a starting safety in the National Football League. But this is a second-round draft pick. Like, the Atlanta Falcons did not draft a lot of players who are currently starters in the league in order to draft Richie Grant. The fact he's not playing out there right now, and what already is a pretty average secondary, it's not like he's looking up at, you know, absolute studs in there at the, at the DB position. He's just not able to get onto the field. And I know it's probably his fault because, obviously, he's not playing right now. It's probably due to the fact that he's not, obviously, playing well in practice. But you've got to find a way to get him out there because you've got to be able to have your second-round draft picks play. Like, this is not a, you know, five-year process for an early draft pick. Like, your first and second-round draft picks need to play right away, in my opinion. So even though he's been struggling, I think you've got to get him to be out in the field a lot I mean a lot more than he already is because not a single defensive snap to me despite the fact there are other players who have played a little bit better is very surprising and honestly uh very much disappointing to go ahead and watch before we get into my final player who's going to be a surprise because he was just called up for the practice squad make sure you guys are subscribed to the channels we got really great content coming up this week including a mailbag video later on towards the weekend where we answer guys' questions those are always a fan favorite because you want to see if your question is answered or not and you like what i say apparently so go down below and hit that red subscribe button we would greatly appreciate it we're trying to get the 4k subs here on the channel, which has been a little bit of, a, of, a, of an uphill battle, but I think that the Falcons obviously being at 500 now, more people are going to be a lot more tuning into the Falcons uh, because they're playing better and have a chance to be in the postseason, which I've talked about a lot. And even though people don't want to do, you know, agree with me, the fact the Falcons are going to be a playoff team, I stand behind that. And so we're going to follow them as they make their march towards a possible playoff berth. So go down below and hit the red subscribe button. Final player on the list, again, just for, elevated for the practice squad. You probably forgot he was on the practice squad. That is the running back, Kadri Allison. Now, there isn't necessarily a reason why Kadri Allison should play that is of his own. Like, he's not necessarily any sort of stud running back. That's why he was cut and then re-signed to the practice squad after training camp. But mainly the main reason why I think he at least needs to get a couple of snaps here and there, because what else do you have? Like, Matt Ryan averaged more yards per carry than any of the Falcon running backs on Sunday against the Saints. Now, it was the number one rush defense, but we're talking about a guy and Mike Davis who's done nothing this year. Like, can it get much worse than Mike Davis? That's my thought process. Like, why not at least try Kadri Allison, who was humbled a little bit when he was released, and then Signed to the practice squad. He's had some time to kind of, you know, keep learning the offense. I think you should get him some more snaps. I think, I mean, again, what's the worst that could happen? Because we're talking about a running game that has been atrocious and has no 100-yard rushers this year, has had really no 100-yard rushing games, and you just came off a game where you had, what, 34 total yards rushing? They've got to figure out the running back spot. We talked about that a lot here on the channel, and I think giving Allison some snaps, regardless of if it's good or not, I think we need at least try it to figure out uh, if they can find a way to kickstart this running game. Okay, which of these five players needs more playing time? I gave you my list here. Marlon Davidson, James Botters, Hayden Hurst, Richie Grant, and Kadri Allison. Is there one on the list that you think deserves more snaps than any of the others? Let me know who that is down below right now in the comment section. Ultimate for today on our Atlanta Falcons news and rumor video with the five players that need more playing time. I think all these guys definitely will be getting it. The question is how much more. We'll obviously keep an eye on that as the season progresses. And again, you guys should go ahead and subscribe to the channel by going down below and hitting that red subscribe button. It helps you be notified whenever we drop our latest videos. Also, click the notification bell because that allows you to literally get an update on your phone when the latest videos drop. For Atlanta Falcons today, I'm your host, Thomas Mott. We are out of time. We sign off. Stay safe out there. Enjoy the rest of your day.